As per the last video in the series, we're going to have a look at the Python command line first. And in this area here, I'm going to type message equals, and I'm going to get it to put in hello world. So when I press enter, message stores hello world. And here I'm asking to print the message, and you can see it responds with hello world. Now this is interactive. If I type message, it will tell me what's in it. You can see it's hello world. Here I'm going to type A equals 8. And when I type A, we can see that the 8 is actually returned. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to close the command line. And then we're going to restart it by coming hit to all programs, going to Python and selecting the command line again. And here we can see it. Now I'm going to type A and notice it comes with an error. Then I'm going to type message and I get another error. Now if you remember, earlier we typed 8 into A. And then message had hello world stored within it. But as soon as I close this down, all of those values are lost. So the command line is a useful feature for programmers as it enables us to test things, try things out to see if we can get to understand new aspects of the language. But we can see once we've shut it down and brought it back again, it's lost everything. So we need another mechanism if we're going to write software systems that allows us to save the work that we're going to be writing as programmers. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to all programs and I'm going to go to Python 3.3 and I'm going to select this one here, Python GUI. And when I do that, I get this shell. Now this shell behaves exactly like the command line we were looking at earlier. I can say x is equal to 1 and then I can ask what x is and it tells me it's actually 1. However, what I want to be able to do is to write a program that I can save. To do that, you come here and you ask for a new window. And now you will get this window here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to arrange for them to be side by side. And when I do so, what I'd like you to look at here is have a look at this menu system and this one. You can see they're different. And this is going to act like an editor. And here I'm going to say message equals. And I'm simply going to type in here, hello world. And notice the color here. Notice it's green. Color features a part of this particular editor and then on the next line I'm going to type print notice the color of that and then I'm going to put in the, the word message which is the variable message that we assigned hello world to on the last line now what I'm going to do I'm come to file here and I'm going to come down to where it says save as and I'm going to save it to my desktop I'm going to give it an appropriate uh, name here making sure that this is selected Python files and that will put a dot py at the end of the file I'll now click on to save now once I've done that I can come here and I can run the module and when I run the module we can see over here it says hello world so in fact with the same kind of effect but what I'm going to do now I'm going to come down I'm going to close this and when I close it I will not have lost what I've just typed because I can come here to open I can go back to the desktop there I can see the hello world I can open it and there we can see we have the um, the program I wrote a moment ago now I'll just quickly adjust this on the screen so I can put them side by side and what I'm going to do in a moment once I've done this I'm going to run it again and if I run the module again you can see down here it's put hello world and you can see this word restart appears here so there we have a way of saving our programs, bringing them back, running them, and of course I could alter the programs and resave it, and so on. Another thing to consider is this. Have a look at how this particular editor reflects the name of the file here, hello world.py.